A few weeks ago, Jennifer had a dream that she related to me, that she saw four strands of hair come out of my forehead. This, of course, meant to me that she saw the tefillin of my head, the, the shin, the four-pronged shin of the tefillin. And since she is Delilah to my shimshon, shim, shim, I was happy to have four. The, I have thought about it, but then it came up in the shear with the rabbi of changing the ani into the ayin. I would show it on with, with papers, but my phone is screwed up. It's opposite. The ani is I, aleph, Yud, Aleph, Nun, Yud. And the Ayan is Aleph, Yud, Final Nun. In other words, the two Nuns are switched. And one becomes from bent to straight. The bent is the Ani. And the straight is the Ayan. We're supposed to go step, bring that, 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 that falling down into the, into the lower worlds. And that's the ani into the iron. And I claim that I'm dead. In other words, I became iron. So I'm iron. And then what occurs is that once you're iron, once you're nothing, then it goes back up. It goes back up into heaven, into, into the original yes. The yes from the point of view of Hashem. The yes from the point of view of Hashem is iron. <laughs> Down here we come, yes, my iron. Yes, my iron. Something from nothing. But basically, this, this yesh is really nothing. It's really something from nothing, from, from above. The, the highest level that we go after we become the iron down here, there's a sucking upward, a, a blowing the head off the... the you know, tower of the of the of the tarot. And and the iron goes back up into into the original source of Ain't Sof and, and it meets its Atzmut Ain't Sof. And in Atzmut Atzmut, remember Atzmut is this great number of six oh six? With Atz, Eitz, Mavet, tree of death. And the full gematria of Atzmut is 832, which is Eretz Yitzrael. And here we are back up there. And what do we have? Now we have the ultimate yes. The ultimate yes is only after you get the iron. You come back and you become yes of Atzmut. And my big secret is how to spell that yesh. How to spell the yesh is yud and then a four-pronged shin. And that four-pronged shin is what Jennifer saw. Because I have not rectified the ego, abandoned the ego, changed the, where the position of the nun is, gone depths with the final nun, the ain. So I've changed my ani into an ain, an iron. And once that happens, it's a sucking upwards like the, like the tower, tarot card. And then the atzmuts, the death, the tree of death, If Atzmut ain't soft, and there it's Yesh. 
the ain is yesh. And that yesh, that's the that's real life. And that yesh is yud and a four prong shin. Yud and then a four prong shin. And that four prong shin is the shin of the left. This is very deep. That's beautiful. So the only way to enter the true ultimate yesh is for you to become nothing. <laughs>